What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another tutorial. Now, today's tutorial will be covering how to make this cool looking 3D phone inside of After Effects. It's kind of cartoony, but you make it an illustrator, then you bring it into After Effects and you can animate it in 3D. Yeah, it's kind of cool. So, And right before we get started, please know that you can download this project file in the description, figure it out, or follow the tutorial and make your own, because it's a great way to learn, right? But Download it, I don't care. Doesn't matter. Let's get started. And as you see here in After Effects, once you rig it, you can actually move it around however you like. It's kind of cool. It's like a little cartoon 3D phone. You can change the background color of something, and let's make it like the same color as the phone on the sides, or like a little bit off this way, so it's kind of out. So yeah, and then like you can change the background, do all kinds of stuff, and this phone looks cool. So let's get started. First step, we need to make this phone an illustrator. Now, the way to think about this project is you're reversing a 3D shape, so you're making a box that is folded out, and you gotta fold it back up in 3D. So inside of Illustrator, you make a flat shape that could be folded up into a 3D object. And it's really simple, because a phone only has six sides, just like a cube unfolded. So, what we're gonna do is go to File, new now your composition settings don't matter we're gonna do 1920 by 1080 you know let's do a 4k comp so 3840 by 2160 and points that's fine create boom we have this big composition so now what we're gonna do is actually start drawing out shapes to make this phone real but first let's do the screen so let's imagine the screen is this big it's the, the square and I don't really know why this is over here not over here it's like my shape. I don't get it. Whatever. Anyways, let's click your shape. Let's go ahead and make it, uh, I don't know, green just for now, just to show that. And let's turn the stroke off. Um, we're going to actually take this shape right here. There's these little shape options up here at the top of Illustrator. And it's called the uh, shape properties. So click on it. Let's, let's make this uh, 1080 by 1920. Now this is the exact dimensions of a screen and it'll be really useful later. Um, now if you typed some number in here and uh, it changed automatically on the other side, like 555, this changed over here, it's because your little chain link thing is on. So make sure that is undone so you can actually fix it later. All right, so we got this and our composition is not quite big enough. So what we're gonna do is actually make our artboard a little larger and yeah alright cool now we're gonna take this this uh, shape right here copy and paste it and let's make it a little bigger let's change the color to I don't know white oh, no nah, not white that's bad color let's make it an orange phone and we are going to increase the size of this shape and I just don't know why this is over here still it's just an error but grab the edges of your shape and make it a little bigger and we're actually going to bring this rectangle below the green shape inside of our layer panel so we can see it. So it's right here. That looks like about where it should be on a phone. Then we're going to copy and paste this shape, put it to the over here. About right there is fine. We're going to copy and paste this shape once more times. And we are going to shrink it down a whole bunch about right here and you'll be grabbing the edge of your shape unlike me who's grabbing that um, and we'll put it right on the edge of this shape so let's make this orange a little bit different a little darker double click this make it a little darker grab this shape and make it even darker right on and now we grab this Hold Alt or Command on your keyboard to drag out a new shape. I'll also hold Shift to make it exactly where it needs to be. That looks pretty good. Now what we're going to do is Alt click this out one more time, drag it out, and we're going to grab the little edge right here. You would see it on the side of your path, but mine's over here for some errored reason. Hold Shift to make it exactly 90 degrees and go to the top here and we are going to shrink this shape down let's zoom in a whole bunch and move it down to here so it's exactly lining up right there zoom back out 
zoom in. Grab this shape one more time. Command or Alt, drag it down, hold Shift, and it pings it right there. Now these shapes are the exact same width on all these. And because they've clipped to the edges of this is what we want. Now we can actually grab like a, I don't know, an ellipse tool or something, make a circle, a little button. Let's make the button a different color, like a, a darker orange. Doesn't really matter. Put it down here. Let's make it a little larger. Hold Command and Shift or Alt and Shift, and you can actually scale it out from its center. Just like that. Looking pretty good so far, not too bad. I'm actually not digging this foam color. Let's make it a different color. Let's make it, I don't know. I like blue. Blue's cool. Then hit uh, this and then I on your keyboard. Ink. V. Ink. V. Ink. V. Ink. For I on your keyboard. And I will change all of these to a different color. A little bit darker. And this is going to be even darker. So there is separations of the phone. Now, oh, this needs to be the same color as these. Now we need to make our buttons for the phone, which is pretty easy. And we can change our screen to black now, it's fine. And this button can be uh, a dark blue, so it blends in. Now we can make our buttons. So we're gonna grab our shape tool right here and our rounded rectangle tool and drag it out like that. That's kind of annoying. We could probably make the rectangle a little more rounded, I guess. Just like that. That looks pretty cool. And then we can um, control and zoom in. We can grab our circle tool, ellipse tool. Put it right here. Uh, let's make this a little smaller. Change our ellipse to, I don't know, gray. So it's like a little button that we can slide up and down inside of After Effects to turn the, the sound on. I don't know. Put it right here. Make it a little smaller. Hey, my thing's back to normal. That's good. That's good for good for us. This needs to be a lot darker. That looks pretty cool. It's like a switch. Um, I don't know. Let's put another switch on the other side because some phones have that. It looks cool like that, I guess. Right there. And we'll put something else on the bottom, which is going to be like our power port. Because that's normal. Um, what else can we do? Oh, wait, it's not in the center of that. Oops, got to grab this, got to grab this. Move it over right there. Hey, we've got to be in the center. And what else? What else? We need to put the another one of these things at the top because it just looks normal to be there, I guess. And we'll put it right in the center. Looks about right. And that looks like a phone, I think. Sure, that looks like a phone. I'll, I'd buy that. Sweet, that's our phone. Sorry for the loud banging noises upstairs. Pretty normal. All right, so continuing on. Now, we've got our phone thing here, which is kind of like all we needed so far, but uh, we need to set this up for After Effects. We need to import an Illustrator file into After Effects to animate it and turn it into a 3D phone, so fold it up in 3D. So what we're going to do is highlight everything. We're going to go to our Layer panel. If you don't see it, go to Window, Layers, right here. And we're going to, once everything is highlighted, like right there, we're going to click this little button right here and go to release layers to sequence and then boom everything now says layer which is pretty cool what we're going to do is highlight all the layers one more time and we're going to drag it above layer one which pull them, pulls all the layers out of its layer composition then we're going to take layer one and we're going to delete it because it's an empty layer, doesn't matter now you can save this file, save as let's call it a uh, phone 3 because I already have other phones in here um, phone three, phone three. Did I just save it? Something's happening. Oh, the prompt. Here's the prompt. Phone three. And now we're going to name these layers. So this is, uh, the back layer. Okay, so the back is fine. Put on the bottom, I guess. Back. 
Now, naming these will uh, reflect inside of After Effects. We actually know what piece is what piece because they're all going to be separate layers in After Effects. So, back. So I'm going to name these really quick, and you can have a little time lapse of me naming stuff. Really cool, right? All right, now all these are named. We're going to save this file one more time. Boom, phone. Dot three AI, and we can we can kind of close down the Illustrator for now and open up After Effects. So After Effects is now open. What we're gonna do is go to File or we go to Project, and um, let's imagine all of this is uh, deleted because it is. Now we'll keep it here. We'll throw it all in a folder to hide it down. Now what we're gonna do is drag in our Illustrator file to uh, turn into a 3D phone. Now it's actually kind of a tricky way of doing it but it's really interesting it's kind of fun so we drag this illustrator file into the project bin of after effects and it's gonna prompt us something importing selected importing selected items alright now the prompt is gonna pop open and it's gonna import a composition and footage dimensions retain layer size so let's do that and click OK opens up phone 3 which is this thing right here opens up phone 3 layers so there's all the illustrator layers that are named a certain thing Phone 3, boom. Everything is what we want it to be. Now, um, you could leave it all as uh, Illustrator uh, files and just save it. Or you could go a step further and turn everything into a shape. You could highlight everything and right click and uh, create shapes from vector layer. Which is pretty cool. So at the end of the day, once you've made your 3D phone inside of After Effects, you don't have to save the Illustrator file anymore because these are like connected files to do two different files. So you could just create all these shapes, um, just like this, and it wouldn't even be a big deal because they're all just like shapes. So let's go the shape route. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, quickly select all of these layers. And we're going to move them above all of everything else, just to make sure everything is okay. Now, we have one more step before we can make this thing 3D. We need to put all of our anchor points in the right place, right? So, we can leave our front um, like this. Anchor point in the center. Um, the back, the front, anchor point in the center. Screen, anchor point in the center. But the back outlines, we need to put this anchor point to the left of this. So, so grab your your pan behind tool right here. Grab your anchor point, which allows you to move it around, and click Control on your keyboard, which will ping it right here to the corner. Now we're going to grab our right outlines, and we are also going to Control ping it to the left right here of this edge. Go to our left and put the anchor point right here, right on this edge. Then go to our top outlines. Let's zoom in to make sure these anchor points are exactly where we want them to be. Because if they're not, it's going to mess it up slightly. We can always fix it, but you know. We want to make sure this is done right the first time. So click it right there. Perfect. Go to our top. Move the anchor point. Click it right here. Perfect. Go to the bottom. Click our anchor point and move it right here where it's perfect and you want to do this before you make these layers 3D right now we need to link all these layers through parenting to make sure when we move them in 3D they will follow each other so we're going to use the parenting tool right here this little parenting thing this little squiggly you can drag a line out and parent something you're going to right click columns and click parent super easy so what we're going to do is we're going to take the screen and we're going to parent it to the front Right, you see, we're parenting it to the front. So if we grab the front, front and move it around, the screen follows it. You can see that the screen is going where the front is going, which is what we want. That's what parenting does. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to take the back and we're going to parent it to the right side. Take the right side and parent it to the front. The left side and parent it to the front top and parent it to the front bottom parent it to the front front button obviously go to the front left button we're gonna go to the left side left side switch left side right button right side right side switch right side charger to the bottom speaker to the front because it's on the front 
and the little button on the bottom. Sweet. Everything has been parented, which is what we want. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hide all these little layers down here. Turn the little nose thing off. Turn this and then click this button right here. Hides all those layers for us. We're going to right click new null object and we're going to throw this null in the center of our phone right here. And let's put the anchor point in the middle of the null because I don't know. I want to do that for some weird reason. Right there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to parent the front to the null. So if I theoretically grab this null and move it around, everything should move on screen. Everything, absolutely everything should move on screen. And everything is moving, which is, means we're on the right path. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn all these layers, including the null, into a 3D object by clicking this little 3D button right here. If you don't see it, it should be uh, switches. Yes. Right click, columns, switches, 3D object, boom, everything is now 3D. So cool, we are almost done turning this into a 3D phone. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do all our 3D properties and start folding this thing to where it needs to be folded. So we're going to grab this side right here. Boom, this. We're going to click down on our transform tool. Click down, this is a down arrow. Click down on transform and use our X orientation, I think. Nope, nope, use our Y orientation. And we're going to change it to 90 degrees or negative 90 degrees. So it folds back 90 degrees. Now we're going to grab our left side and we are going to transform it to 90 degrees. Then grab our top on the transform and we're going to transform the X this time. And it's going to go, I think, negative 90. Yep, negative 90. So it folds it back. You can see right here where it's being folded back. And then go to our bottom, do the same thing. And if you remember, we named all these layers in um, Illustrator. It's one extra step, but if you do it, you will thank me later. Surely will. Grab our bottom, and we are going to rotate the X to 90 degrees. 90. And boom. Oh, yeah. But we got one more problem. If we grab the null, the front null, we hold down W on our keyboard. We can actually rotate this by holding it and rotate it. You can see that our phone looks 3D, but our, our back is not yet uh, our back has not yet been uh, rotated. Oh, wrong one. Grab the null, rotate it. Our back still needs to be folded on the inside, which is totally fine. Take our back, and we're going to fold it down to 90. Um, which is kind of cool because it's actually pinged to that one side when we rotated it around. So negative 90 should close this phone off. And wow. Um, our phone has now been turned into a 3D phone that we can see and use. inside of After Effects. So now we want to be able to put something on this screen when the phone's in 3D, right? That's the whole point of this phone being in 3D. So what we're going to do is right click, new composition, call it, uh, I guess, f phone screen. And then click OK. 60 frames per second, 1920 by, or width, let's do 1080 by 1920, which is your typical phone screen size and 25 60 frames per second at 25 seconds is totally fine. Same as our composition right now. And we're going to do a new solid. Let's make it like a different color. It's uh, really easy to see. Let's do it uh, green. And uh, click OK. Go back to our 3D phone. Drop in the phone screen. It's randomly right here. Let's put it right on top of our black shape. right exactly where it's at. Did I just land that immediately? I think I did. Oh, it's a little off. And boom. What we can do is really quickly we can uh, turn the 3D layer on this phone screen and we can parent it to the front or the screen. We can actually turn off the screen outline now because we don't really need it anymore. 
and then boom, just like that. And the whole reason we did the phone screen in the first place is to make sure the scale of our object was correct. So we can double click this phone screen, which is a flat composition on the inside. We can go into Google, we can go into anything, and we can drop on like an image. So what we can do is just drag in any image, doesn't matter. Um, I dr I'm dragging in this iPhone lock screen image I downloaded on Google and it's kind of bigger than it should be but we can scale it down to the right appropriate size and this is where you could animate all of your apps stuff like that inside of this little phone thing and this phone composition and go back to your 3D phone and the screen will be on there and grab your null and if you notice that it is attached to the front of this thing which is really cool so you can have this in 3D flipping around and boom your app can be animated, make a little commercial out of it, which is kind of cool. And then what we're going to do is, to finalize this, to kind of like redo and redo and redo, is right click new composition, let's make it uh, 1920 by 1080. Uh, 25 seconds, 60 frames per second, let's call it final comp. Click OK and jump into our 3D phone, highlight all of these layers, Command C, jump back into our final comp and command V we can see that it's all here but the, so we can see that the phone's a little too big for this screen but super easy we can just move this knoll up here in the right place we can scale it down ourselves to fit the screen or if it's too big for your taste you can always just move it back in Z space to make it fit the screen which is totally fine move it back in Z space and boom the phone is now perfectly aligned to where we want it to be. So we can keyframe this really fast. So let's go down to our null. Let's trans, uh, keyframe the orientation, and position, and we will go this way. Put this right here. And go back in time. And then we will tilt it on orientation. Let's just tilt it kind of crazily like that and then we're gonna right click keyframe assistant easy ease all these keyframes and then over a six second period our phone comes right out to the center of the screen if you missed that what I did was these keyframes were normal looking I highlighted all these keyframes, right clicked, keyframe assistant, easy ease, which gives that motion to our keyframes that makes it look a little nicer, just like that. And then it can stay there for a minute, and then it can go off screen in another, you know, whoosh. Come on, we're going off screen here, we're going off screen. And the orientation is going to change as well, not the scale, not the scale, the orientation. It's going to flip over like that. Kind of flip up almost. Make sure it's all, you know, keyframed how we like it. Just like that. So it goes out, it stays, and then leaves. Super slow. We can make it stay there a little longer. Um, and then we can close this down and it will repeat for us. So. Stay there for however long it needs to stay. Make this even faster. It's like a four second animation. And now what we can do is actually close all this down. Right click new solid. Let's put a solid in the back. Let's make it this color. For a background color. It is like the exact same color as this background. So let's go to fill and change this to like a, just a different gray, one that stands out. So boom, the phone, just like that. You can make these keyframes a little better. Change the background to white or something, because I don't know, it's kind of cool. And now we have this phone animation, which is kind of cool. And what's even cooler is if you change the background to the color of like the side or something. 
That's kind of neat. You can change the background color to the side of the phone. And boom. You had this cool looking phone animation to do stuff. Let's actually animate a screen. New solid. Change it to, I don't know, off red. No, orange, because orange would match. Over this way. Boom. So it's going to go on. And that's it. That's a really simple way to make a 3D phone inside of After Effects. Not really inside of After Effects, but, you know, close enough. It's working how we want it to work. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Maybe you learned some new techniques, new things you can use in your own videos. But, as always, I am Max. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.